Debawaik Podkarpeki Voivodeship. Debawaik Dembovjet is a village in Jaslo County, Subcarpathian Voivodeship, in southeastern Poland. It is the seat of the Gmina, administrative district called Gmina Debawaik. It lies approximately 8 km 5 mi south of Jaslo and 56 km 35 mi southwest of the regional capital Arzeso. The village has an approximate population of 2,000. Debowite has a long and rich history. For centuries it was a town, located in southeastern corner of the historic province of Lesser Poland. Until the partitions of Poland, Debowite belonged to Bikes County of Krakowojewice. In the early Middle Ages, Debowite was a gourd located in sparsely inhabited areas of Carpathian foothills. In the 11th century, Benedictine monks from Tynaik encouraged settlers to come to this corner of Lesser Poland. Debowaik was a village destroyed in 1241 during the Mongol invasion of Poland. Asiatic hordes returned in 1259-1260 and 1287-1288, bringing further destruction. On August 15, 1349, King Casimir's Wielki granted Magdeburg rights to Debowaik. By that time, Debowaik had already been a local center of administration, as first mention of a Roman Catholic parish of St. Bartholomew existing here dates back to 1328. According to some sources, Debowaik had been granted town charter as early as 13th century, and in 1349, Casimir's Wielki changed the charter from Polish to German Magdeburg rights. First known Vogt of Debowaik was Mikuláj of Bakau. On May 13, 1365, Casimir's Wielki visited Debowaik. By early 15th century, Debowaik had a number of artisans, and among its most famous owners was Knight Marson of Rosimois, who resided here in 1433-1442. His son, Marson of Debowaik, was captured by Turks during the Battle of Varna and spent 20 years in Turkish captivity. In 1471, Debowaik burned in a great fire, and three years later the town was raided by Hungarian troops under Thomas Tarkse, which burned all local villages, together with Debowaik and its church January 1474. In 1494, Debowaik was flooded, and in 1496-1497 the town was affected by a plague. Furthermore, in 1498, Debowaik was raided by Crimean Tatars and Wallachians, who burned all towns and villages of Carpathian foothills. Debowaik prospered in the period known as Polish Golden Age. Even though the town and its castle burned in 1512, it was quickly rebuilt and became a local trade center with a brewery, wine cellars, tax office, watermill, and other businesses. In 1528, Debowaik was named seat of a starosta, and in 1535, royal privilege was issued, granting the right for Monday fairs. In 1571, Jadwiga Tarlo, future wife of Jersey Emnisech, was named a starosta of Debowaik. She married Emnisech in 1586, and the couple settled at the Debowaik castle. In 1605, the Emnisets hosted envoys of false Demetrii who asked for the hand of their daughter Marina. On May 8, 1606, Marina Emnisets married Dmitri in Moscow. In 1624, Debowaik was once again raided by Crimean Tatars, and on April 1, 1626, almost whole town burned in a great fire, after which only parish church and seven houses stood. The Tatars returned in 1629 and 1654, while in 1655, Debowaik was looted by Swedes during the deluge history. On March 19, 1657, Debowaik was burned and its residents murdered by Transylvanians of George the Food Rakopsi. After the wars of the mid-17th century, Debowaik never recovered and declined in importance. In 1769, a Battle of the Bar Confederation took place here, and three years later, the town was annexed by the Habsburg Empire. Debowaik remained in Austrian Galicia until 1918. In 1806, the army of Mikhail Kutuzov marched through the town after the Battle of Austerlitz. Local peasants actively participated in the so-called Galician Slaughter 1846, 
while 26 patriots from Debowak fought in the January uprising. Due to widespread poverty, a number of local residents left Debowak and adjacent villages in the late 19th and early 20th century, emigrating either to the United States or Brazil. In September 1914, Debowak was seized by Russian army, which retreated after two days. In 1934, Debowak was affected by the 1934 flood in Poland, and on July 26 of the same year, it lost its town charter. In 1937, local peasants took part in the 1937 peasant strike in Poland. Equals equals references equals equals equals.